Buongiorno e benvenuti, I'm Stephanie Smith from Lionel Luxury Real Estate and I'm here today to show you this enchanting period villa for sale on Lago Maggiore. Check it out! Today we are in Piemonte on Il Lago Maggiore, which has enchanted both national and international artists with its beauty. Il Lago Maggiore takes its name by being the largest prealpine lake. In fact, the word maggiore translates as greater. Grazie alla sua posizione protetta tra colline e montagne, questo luogo è sempre riparato dai freddi venti ghiacciali. We are on one of the panoramic terraces that the property has to offer. And this is a multi-use space. It could be ideal for hosting a large dinner party or a small wedding with a beautiful view over the lake. Speaking of the terrace, right now we are right on top of the property's private and covered dock where you can park your boats. The property also has a private garage and adjacent to the panoramic terrace is this lovely garden embellished by palm trees and stone vases. This location is the ideal spot to truly appreciate the calming effect of the water. If one wanted, there are already the approved permits to also add a swimming pool. Before approaching the villa, we encountered this gorgeous Art Nouveau style gazebo with beautiful stone table, perfect for eating al fresco, and viewpoint, where I could already see myself reading a good book in the summertime, and honestly, I can't think of anything better. The villa is surrounded by this beautiful terrace that offers a variety of sitting areas along the railing with beautiful Art Nouveau designs and a breathtaking view over the lake. Here we have an external dining area that is well connected to the kitchen and the space is embellished by the stone fountain that still works today. The villa was originally built in 1820 and was then acquired by the famous sculptor Riccardo di Pamonti who dedicated the villa to his daughter. Between 1915 and 1920 he meticulously renovated the villa in Art Nouveau style and embellished it with stone vases, fountains and sculptures. But not just that, the facade has been embellished with Art Deco mythological scenes floral and geometrical details. But now I want to show you inside the villa, so follow me. Before we continue, let me tell you a little bit about the property. The property is 700 square meters featuring the main villa and a dépendance for a total of six bedrooms and nine bathrooms and is surrounded by 3,000 square meters featuring a lake view, a private garden, a garage, a dockyard, an access to the water, and two panoramic terraces. Ma ora, venite con me. 
As soon as we enter this period villa, the first thing that we see is the gorgeous view over Il Lago Maggiore and the mountains. Here we have beautiful checkered black and white tile floors and a customized wardrobe. Opposite to which is the guest bathroom that serves the floor which is in the same style to give continuity. From here we are led into the living area. I mean wow, this villa has the perfect location. You can truly enjoy the view over the lake from every room and every side. Compared to the foyer that had tile floors, now in the living area we have wooden floors with geometrical designs. The ceiling is covered in rosettes and carved details that frame this elegant chandelier. I like how the more classical elements work perfectly with the more contemporary furniture and creates a perfect ambiance. The living room is well connected to this first dining room which of course the first thing that catches our eye here is the stained glass. Just think when the sun hits on the glass you'll be dining surrounded by colors. This room has a kitchenette with an induction stove and fridge so you can prepare your meals and enjoy them with a view over the lake and the mountains. Always on this floor we have a first suite so if you follow me let's go check it out. On the ground floor we have this first suite that has wooden floors that gives warmth to the room and the attention to detail is exquisite. I mean look at the handles of the windows that match the knobs of the radiators other than the breathtaking view over the landscape. This room is connected to its own personal and private lounge area. This is the ideal space to just sit and relax while enjoying the calming movement of the water or enjoy a good movie. And we're also connected to the bedroom's bathroom. On the first floor, we have two suites and a study. The master bedroom is a true example of comfort and elegance. It is exposed on two sides and has large windows that let in a lot of natural light and also give a beautiful view over the surrounding landscape. There are also two French windows that give access to the bedroom's private terrace. This is the perfect place to relax and enjoy the view over the mountains or simply sunbathe in the privacy of your own home. And also look at the detail of the terrace. The Art Nouveau style is perfect for this property. The master bathroom was thought out brilliantly. It has light tiles, a beautiful bathtub with rain shower, and in general, the color scheme chosen is light and neutral. But the truly brilliant part is that it has a double access, one directly from the bedroom, while the other right into the walk-in closet. So in one swift move, you can get ready and start your day. Have a cozy home office with wooden floors that gives warmth to the room that has a built-in bookshelf and its own private terrace. We are now in the second suite on the floor that has its own private bathroom with rain shower, a beautiful view over the lake and its own private terrace. Also, every room in the house has its own air conditioning system. We're not finished with the tour just yet. We still have one more floor to see. So if you follow me, we'll go see the lower floor of the villa. 
This floor has a more rustic style to it, as we can see from the lower exposed wooden beam ceilings. Here is a second dining room that has access onto the outside, but also access to a wine cellar. This room is connected to a breakfast area where we can also find a guest bathroom and to a professional kitchen. During the meticulous renovation, Ripamonti applied the principles of symmetry, as we can see from the semicircular staircase on both sides of the entrance. This actually used to be the main entrance of the property because back in the day you could only access the villa by boat since the road was built in the 20th century. In fact, you can also see that that was the main entryway from the statues on top of the columns that greet you. The terrace that surrounds the property continues also on this side of the villa. This is a multifunctional space. In fact, we have a sunbathing area, a dining area to enjoy your meals al fresco with a view, and a sitting area where you can simply sit and relax, enjoying the mirror effect of the water. Right next to the villa is a small waterfall. In fact, you might actually hear the sound of running water. The falls divide the main villa from the dependance that we're gonna go and see in a moment. We are now inside the Dependance that is developed on two floors and is 220 square meters. Right now we are on the upper floor that has been very recently renovated and still needs those finishing touches. Right here we have a guest bathroom that serves a whole apartment and the whole apartment has wooden floors. To my right is a first bedroom with double exposure and private bathroom with rain shower. Continuing down the hallway, to my left, we find the master bedroom. This first area could be a walk-in closet or a lounge area that gives extra privacy to the master bedroom, which has a double exposure and a beautiful view over the lake and the Alps. It also has its own master bathroom with rain shower and bathtub. Opposite to the main entrance is this large open space living area. Here we could have the living dining area with fireplace and right in front of me is a French window from which we access the balcony that looks onto the lake. In fact, this whole side of the house looks on the lake. This is a smart house. In fact, from here we have a control over the temperature, alarm system and many other things. This is where the kitchen is intended to be. And also here we have another French window from which we access a smaller balcony that looks onto the lake. Adjacent is a room that could either be used as a bedroom with bathroom or as a home study with bathroom. But now let's go check out downstairs. From this lower level, we have a complete view over the building with this lovely exposed rock facade. This used to be a hydroelectric plant that was built in the 1950s. It was not uncommon for buildings or villas to be built at the time close to a waterfall because they would pick up the energy and electricity and distribute it to the nearby factories. External to the main entrance is this terraced area that looks onto a garden with access to the water. However, the terrace does not end here. It continues to go around the building, offering breathtaking views over Il Lago Maggiore and the Alps. Ma ora venite con me. Let's go check out inside. A 
Also, this lower floor has been very recently renovated and is in need of those final touches. It was studied as an open space concept and has a more industrial style with wooden floors and of course the focus point is the freestanding fireplace. All around the room there are many large windows that bring in a lot of natural light but also give a beautiful view over the surrounding landscape. Slightly elevated in respect to this open space is a mezzanine floor where we can find the kitchen. And here is this enchanting customized kitchen, which is still in need of a few appliances, but you can really see the attention to detail and quality of the craftsmanship. I mean, just look at this sink. It's beautiful. This space is connected to a laundry area and a bathroom with a shower. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I did. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I can't wait to see what you thought of this lakeside villa. On that note, ciao!